In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to know whether or not you're shadow banned on TikTok and what to do if you do get shadow banned. And I'm making this video because I keep getting hundreds of DMs every single day of people saying, hey Rob, I'm shadow banned on TikTok. Rob, I think I'm shadow banned on TikTok. And 99.9% .9 of you guys are just doing one simple thing wrong and you're not actually shadow banned. And yes, this tends to happen every single time that TikTok changes their TikTok algorithm. Let's get into the video. We're gonna go through how to diagnose whether or not you're shadow banned, what a shadow ban actually is, and so many other things. And I strongly suggest you guys watch the whole entire video all the way through to the end because if you're not shout out band right now there is a possibility that it could happen to you in the future and I want you to know how to fix it first off what is a TikTok shadow ban every app has a shadow ban right Instagram has it 50 cents says that he's shadow banned on Instagram all the time YouTube has it all of these apps have it basically what happens is your account gets profiled and then they stop pushing your content out no this cannot just happen to a single post a single post can be suppressed for certain types of content or the content just wasn't good enough and it didn't get pushed out but you cannot have like one post shadow ban one post not back and forth back and forth back and forth your account is either shadow banned or or it's not. And the main reason that you really get shadow banned is because either you got banned from live or you have a ton of community guidelines violations or you went and deleted like 100 videos and then started uploading again on the same account. Those are the three things that can really get you shadow banned. Getting fake shadow banned as a lot of you guys actually are, it's just that you're not making good enough content for the TikTok algorithm because the algorithm did recently update. And there are a ton of things that can make that happen and we're about to get into that. But before I get into that, I need you guys to smash that subscribe button. I also need you guys to go follow two creators. The first one is at peace Jin do that piece with two E's and at the digital boss life. I need you guys to go follow both of them. You need to follow them. You need to comment on their last video. Say, hey, at Robert Benjamin sent me, tag me in, and I'm going to choose one of you guys to get a shout out in my next YouTube video. All right. So now that you know exactly what a shadow ban is, let's go into how to identify whether or not you're actually shadow banned. The only way to know whether or not you're truly shadow banned on TikTok is to look at your last post and see whether or not they've gotten on the For You page and they meet a certain criteria. If you have not gotten on the For You page at all, then there is a chance that you are shadow banned. But if you're even getting 1% views from the For You page, well then guess what? You're not shadow banned. In addition, if your views are not clearly suppressed, and I'm talking about having like 100,000 followers and only able to get 100 views on a really good video, then you're probably not shadow banned. You're probably just doing a ton of things wrong that we'll get into in a little bit. In the past, shadow bans lasted seven to 14 days only. Now they're lasting way longer, and I'm about to tell you exactly how long in just a sec. But first, I did want to reemphasize that if you are not having your views totally suppressed and you're on the For You page, even 1%, then you are definitely not shadow banned. Keep watching the video though, because I'm going to be explaining to you what is actually happening to you and how you could fix it. Like I said before, I've been getting so many DMs from so many people and 99% of you guys are not shadow banned at all. Your views are not getting suppressed. It's a totally separate issue that is affecting your account. And the issue is that you're not following the rules for the new TikTok algorithm in order to get on the For You page. And don't worry, if you fall into this category, like I said, it is happening to so many people. I'm having hundreds of people just hit me up every single day. So I'm sure it's happening to tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people on the app. But I do have the solution for you. Right now, TikTok is largely favoring content that is over 13 seconds long, trending and getting over 85% watch time. If you're achieving all of those things on your content and you're still not getting on the For You page, well then guess what? Yeah, you probably are shadow banned, but if you're not achieving those things, I want you to start working on that. There's gonna be two simple solutions for you. First, get my free TikTok growth course. I link out to it in the description below or go watch my algorithm update video. I'm gonna link out to that at the end of the video. If you watch those two things, go through those two things and you're still not getting on the For You page, then yeah, you probably are shadow banned. So like I said earlier, shadow bans used to last seven to 14 days. Now they're lasting three weeks to a month. The reason being is it's way harder to get shadow banned now. Really the only way that you could get shadow banned is mass deleting a ton of posts, having a ton of community guidelines violations, and they have to be for graphic things, not just for some nonsense. And then the third way is gonna be getting banned on live, which does get a lot of people shadow banned, but it doesn't always get you shadow banned. So the only way to actually get rid of a shadow banned when it happens to you is to continue to post according to TikTok's latest algorithm, what's actually getting on the For You page, not getting any community guidelines violations, not getting banned from live, not taking days off, not doing anything that TikTok doesn't like, and you need to do that for like three weeks to a month and then eventually TikTok will put you back on the For You page. I know this might sound incredibly discouraging. So if you don't have a ton of followers, I would strongly suggest that if this does happen to you and it was because you got banned from live or you have a ton of community guidelines violations, make sure it's not just that you're not making the right type of content. And if you are shadow banned, I would strongly suggest you start a new account, start posting on that new account and your old account until your old account gets unshadow banned. That being said though, do not interact between the two of them because that will continue and prolong your shadow ban. No DMing me, emailing TikTok, nobody's gonna be able to do anything. The only thing that you could do is 
convince the TikTok algorithm that your content has gotten better and that they will start pushing it back out. And for those of you that are just unhappy with your growth on TikTok, you're unhappy with the amount of followers you're getting, the amount of views you're getting, I strongly suggest you sign up for my accelerator or my mentorship program. Both of them are gonna guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you don't grow, you're gonna get your money back. No questions asked in the seven days or the 30 days. I strongly suggest you guys check that out if it's something that you're interested in. I'm gonna link out to it in the description below. In addition to that, guys, if you aren't interested in that, make sure you watch all of my other YouTube content. I have YouTube content about the new TikTok algorithm, what time to post, what hashtags to use, how to make content, so many different things, and I really think you guys will benefit from it. And of course, all of that information is free. It's available everywhere. It's just if you want my one-on-one -on -one consultation of me helping you grow and doing everything I can to help you grow and get a money-back guarantee, then you need to go to my mentorship or my accelerator program. Like I said, I'm going to link out to both of them below.